Many people say ISIS is not Islamic because they have killed more Muslims than non-Muslims. ISIS has been criticized for killing Muslims as well as non-Muslims because this is an apparent defiance of the Quran's injunction. Never is it for a believer to kill a believer except by mistake. So in their own defense, partisans of the Islamic State have argued not on prudential, but on Islamic theological grounds, making copious reference to Islamic sources. They've portrayed the murderous behavior of the Islamic State as legitimate jihad, operations that every Muslim should endorse. Responding to similar criticism 10 years ago, Iraqi jihad leader Abu Musab al-Zarqawi, the leader of the al-Qaeda group that ultimately became ISIS, insisted that his group was behaving in a strictly Islamic manner. He took for granted that Muslims had a responsibility before Allah to wage war against unbelievers. Zarqawi said, there's no doubt that Allah commanded us to strike the kuffar, that is unbelievers, kill them, and fight them by all means necessary to achieve the goal. He emphasized that any means at all were permissible in this endeavor. He said, the servants of Allah who perform jihad to elevate the word of Allah are permitted to use any and all means necessary to strike the active unbeliever combatants for the purpose of killing them, snatch their souls from their body, cleanse the earth from their abomination, and lift their trial and persecution of the servants of Allah. This goal must be pursued even if the means to accomplish it affect both the intended active fighters and unintended passive ones, such as women, children, or any other passive category specified by our jurisprudence. Az-Zarqawi was arguing, in other words, that operations such as 9-11 were fully sanctioned by Islamic law even if women and children were killed in them. And that remained true, he argued, even if Muslims were killed as collateral damage. He said, this permissibility extends to situations in which Muslims may get killed if they happen to be with or near the intended enemy, and if it is not possible to avoid hitting them or separate them from the intended kafirs. Although spilling sacred Muslim blood is a grave offense, it is not only permissible, but it is mandated in order to prevent more serious adversity from happening, stalling, or abandoning jihad that is. Now, Zarqawi was killed over two years before Barack Obama became president, and eight years before Obama said ISIL, as he calls the Islamic State, is not Islamic. Obama said no religion condones the killing of innocents, and the vast majority of ISIL's victims have been Muslim. Obama was assuming that because its victims were Muslim, the Islamic State must not be Islamic. However, ISIS's foremost founding figure had long before that explained why this was a false assumption. Moreover, as far as Zarqabi was concerned, those who denied that it was permissible to kill Muslims in jihad operations were enabling the victory of the infidels over the Muslims and the consequent disunity and subjugation of the worldwide Muslim community. He said, if one says that we must not allow the killing of Muslims under any circumstance, especially in light of modern war tactics, this means nothing except stalling or permanently abandoning jihad. This will lead to handing over the land and people to the unbelievers who are full of hate for Islam and Muslims. The unbelievers will have a free hand to humiliate and persecute Islam and Muslims, and Muslims will be forced to live by kafir rules and be treated like slaves. Many Muslims will be pressured or forced to give up their religion. Islam will be altered, modified, and replaced with another form that will be totally different from that which was revealed to the one who was sent with the sword, peace and prayer be upon him. Of course, he's referring to Muhammad. The principles Zarqawi delineated would become the hallmarks of the Islamic State. That any means were acceptable in fighting against and killing non-Muslims which was an Islamic responsibility, and that it was acceptable to kill fellow Muslims in service of the goal of implementing Islamic law over the entire world.